Welcome back to my channel and it's your best friend Sonya J. from the title obviously we are here for another music video reaction okay we're here for Saweetie and Doja Cat's new music video collab together now we already know that Saweetie is good for serving good looks and usually good visuals Doja Cat's good for serving good talent and good visuals as well so I feel like this video is going to be poppin I hope so so let's get into it, okay? Let's see what they're giving, what they're bringing. With the, like, let's just get into it. Like this video if you like it. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. If you agree with my opinions, or if you don't. And you know, let's get into it. These disrespectful men out here, just staring at y'all bodies, objectifying y'all. Is that kind of crass virtue signaling? Is nothing but a less overtly nefarious form of toxic masculinity. Ladies. Hey, I see what y'all I'm it dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm <laughs> dead. <laughs> this visual is cute. <laughs> So now it's time for the opinions, and you know I'm gonna be a hundred and keep it real. Okay, so let's just start with the truth and just get to the point. The song was real cute. I okay, so let's talk about the song itself, and then we'll talk about the video. The song itself was real cute. I, I don't know if this song was previously aired and then they made the video or if they dropped the song and the video at the same time because I'm really not sure. I just seen this on my news feed and was like, oh, a new song and it's a collab with Doja? Oh, let's review it. But I don't really know if the song was already previously aired and then they just dropped the video. I'm not sure. Um, also, but I do remember recalling, like hearing about them going to do a collab in the future. And I remember, um, I forgot, but I seen it on YouTube, like somebody was doing a video on it and they were saying that Saweetie and Doja was supposed to be collabing in the future. And so obviously they did, but I just don't remember if the, the song was aired already and then they just now did the video or this was the whole collab just now posted. But I do remember like seeing a picture of like one of the visuals and I remember Saweetie had her hair like it was that black cut with the short haircut and then um, she had on like the skirt like the plaid skirt and the plaid little fit. Um, so I remember seeing that picture. So I did know they were going to do a collab. I just don't know if this song was already aired. But the song is cute. Um, I think it's cute. I, I do think it's something that could be played on the radio. I definitely think this is a song that girls will slap when they want to go out. Well, we have, we're in quarantine right now. Well, some states are, some states are. But you, we're having the virus going on, so uh, not a lot of girls are going out right now with their best friends. But when we do again, or, you know, for those who maybe slide around the corner with their best friend in the car, whatever, you with your best friend i can see you slapping this in the car especially if you got the type of relationship with your girls where you you know you like to turn up and twerk and be lit together so this is a definite great song for lit times lit turn ups being with your best friend trying to twerk and just feel yourself especially if you um pre-gaming for the club or pre-gaming for a party or whatever whatever um i think this song is cute i don't love the song it's not a song i can see myself like slapping regularly personally but i think if you're a doji cat or a saweetie fan especially if you're a saweetie fan i think that this would be like one of your new slaps also i do think the song is cute and i would listen to it again just not my personal top 10 slappers but it's still a cute song and i would listen to it again Definitely a clubber. It's one of those songs you before you go to the club or while you're in the club, definitely good for that. So, dang, that sucks that this song can't be played in the club right now. Hmm. But then also like the video, I like the video. Honestly, I think I love the video. The video was like, it was everything. It was. Um, it was because it gave you everything. It gave you sex appeal. I, I knew they were gonna give us that. There was no question about that. It gave us sex appeal. Um, it gave us ass. It gave us nice bodies it gave us 
youthful. It gave us feminine. It gave us <laughs> feminist, okay? <laughs> it gave us um, creativity. It gave us different looks, okay? It gave us, we one minute we had a cute side ponytail. Next minute we had um, a buzz cut wig with different colors. Next minute we had like a bang cut wig. Like we have, like it just gave us different looks. Um, I think Doja Cat had like a short wig moment too. I can't remember. I think it was like a pink, a pink short wig moment. And I liked it because it was giving us different looks. It was giving us like sexy, cute, feminine, short, bald, buzz cut, but also sexy, cute, feminine, long haircut, sexy, cute, feminine, uh, wavy hair. Like it was giving me variety. I was here for it. The looks were killer. Um, it just gave me everything I expected. I wanted it all and I got it. I loved that scene when they were in the strip club and Sweetie was rapping and like the, they, that they edited it to where it was kind of like moving different. I love that scene. That scene was really cool. Um, the visuals were everything. Didn't disappoint with the visuals and I'm glad because I would have been disappointed if I would have been disappointed. Okay. Um, and I knew they were going to serve though because Sweetie usually gives good visuals. Doja Cat usually gives good visuals. And so I knew they were going to do a great clip. Um, and I'm actually glad that they collabed. Also, real quick, throwing this in there. This music video is a prime example of bullshit being called out by everyone who says when you speak out on things that you want to change, whether it be colorism, certain issues in the black community, toxic masculinity. We heard that word in the video. When you speak on things like that, eventually, after a while, motherfuckers going to listen. And after a while, people are going to start speaking on it too. And then eventually, after a while, we're going to start seeing little changes here and there. And then big changes here and there. And this video is just a prime example of when you speak up and speak out on what's wrong. After a while, somebody's going to have to hear you. Let's keep it 100. Have we ever heard anybody say in a music video anything about toxic masculinity? That's a new phrase that I and I'm sure others of you have just now started hearing online within the past year or so. So new terms, the girls are listening, okay? But yeah, I like the song, love the video. Um, also that ending scene was, <laughs> that ending scene was stupid, but it was so needed for the video and also it was so needed for their personalities. Uh, <laughs> it was just needed, so I'm not mad at it. I love that ending scene, it was so stupid, but it was needed. <laughs> But yeah, that's it for, you know, this song or this video. So like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns down below. Um, I'm also going to be reacting to Tanache's. Well, okay, this album's not new at all. But it was a request. And I'm going to fulfill the request because I'm curious to see what Tanache is going to give in a whole album. So if there's any Tanache fans in here, let's go to the next video, okay? I'm going to post it, you know very soon um and also if you're a Doja cat or if you're a sweetie fan comment down below and let me know as well please let me know like what it is or what it do 